Hi everyone. With the NEET PG exam having concluded recently and the INI CET coming up in less than two months, I've got two set of queries from the students which I wish to address. The first set of students believe that because they've made too many silly mistakes in the recently conducted NEET PG, they've dwelled into self-doubt and are feeling that INI CET is not something that is doable or approachable. The second set of students whom I call as my brave-hearted champions They've decided to own up to their mistakes, give a fresh start, reform those mistakes and from that wisdom, transform it into the success of INICET May 7th, 2023. Now, if you're still logged into this video, you of course belong to the latter. Trust me on that. This video is going to be extremely short, concise and crisp, exactly how I want your preparation to be in the upcoming months. There are three parts that I wish to address out here. The first, from where do you have to study for the INICET exam? Now with less than two months in hand, you obviously do not have time for the full course videos. So you have to be very practical and go for the RR or the rapid revision videos and complement that along with your Q bank. When you're practicing the Q bank, it has to be the question followed by the explanation. The second question is, what are the topics on which you have to emphasize more? So obviously, the cliche answer from my side is, of course, going to be the previous year questions. And by PYQs, what I wish to add on is, it's not just the question and the answer that you're doing, but it's going to be the previous year topic that you are referring to. Let me tell you guys that INI CET is not about knowing rare diseases or reading from some very high-end, high-impact journals. No, that is a big misconception that most students have. INICET is about having the right strategy, is about having the right approach and knowing what to do in a limited time frame. And that is exactly what I want to tell you. There are a certain set of topics which are going to be repeated but in a recycled manner. So for example, if vacutainers in pathology happens to be a very favorite topic with INICET examiners, in one year they might ask you about the color coding, in the next year they might give you a clinical scenario as an intern and in the third year, they might ask you about the order of blood being drawn in these vacutainers. So as you realize, the topic remains the same, but how the questions are being recycled year on year. And if you get a hang on those topics that you have to focus on, trust me, INICET is one of the most crackable exams of this particular country. Now moving forward, the third part and the most important one is that what should my timetable be? And to help you with that, I've tried to design, to begin with, a 40-day timetable and then we'll leave the rest of the days for our end moment revision. So quickly scanning you through this 40-day timetable, let's begin with the first and the second year subjects. Let's take six subjects that is anatomy, physiology, biochemistry and then the dreaded pathology, microbiology and pharmacology. These six subjects, I have allowed you to give three days per subjects with your RR and Q bank that comes out to 18 days gone for six subjects. Thereafter, I want you to go to one, two and three, that is one day for ENT, two days for Ophthal, three days for PSM, and that takes care of your third year subjects. Then let's go to the mega four, and that is medicine, surgery, pediatrics and OBGY. For med, surgery and OBGY, I've given you four days each. For pediatrics, you can take two to three days, customize it as per your preparation. And finally, coming to the six short subjects, short but very important, psychiatry, radio, orthopedics, anesthesia, FMT and skin, which we call as the profs. So if you are daredevil type and you're ready to give it that extra push, one day per subject. But I know there are always going to be certain landings, certain days where you know you will have a lot of distractions. So I've also allowed you two buffer days for your preparation and two extra days for two grand tests and their analysis. So what do we come down to in the end? This is a 44 day timetable that I have formulated for all of you. After this, whatever number of days you're left with is going to be a last minute revision. So obviously your next question is going to be what is included in my last minute revision. So I want all of you to prepare for that last minute revision while you're in your first phase of preparation. And what do I mean by that? While you're preparing in these 40 to 44 days for your INICET, please keep a small booklet on the side and not more than 20 topics per subject need to be noted in that booklet. I'll give you an example. 
when I'm studying microbiology, I know that life cycles are something that I have to look at a glance through in the end. Otherwise, I'm going to forget it. And that is a story of every medical aspirant. So you have to write down life cycles of parasitology as one of the topics. And you know that when you're in your last week of preparation, that is something you have to scan. through. When I'm reading pathology, I know for a fact that hematomatous polyps or maybe intestinal cancer is something that they tend to ask me more in INICET. So that is again another topic that I write down and I note down in the end. So not more than 20 topics per subject which you are going to make as a short list while preparing right now. And that is going to be your handy set of topics that you should be doing right at the end in your last one week of preparation. Coming to the most sought after question and the most sought after book, the celebrity book that I have to address and that is First Aid. Now well there's a lot of buzz around this textbook. And it's definitely one of the most beautifully crafted books, if I can say so. I call it a piece of art. But yes, you need to have an eye to appreciate art. And I mean, someone who read their syllabus earlier is definitely a very good candidate to go ahead and study first aid. That in case you just started with your journey, do not start your journey with first aid because it's more bulletized. It helps you in revision. It does not help you in making concepts. So for students who've recently given NEAT PG, they have all the information fresh in their mind. This is a really good book, which you can keep on the side as you're doing your topics. Keep simultaneously revising them from first aid. And this is definitely going to give you an extra edge in your preparation and get you better marks. For students who are preparing for future exams, keep first aid on the side for the time being and focus first on your main videos, your main concepts and your building block. On that note, as I said, the video would be short, crisp, concise, exactly how I want your preparation to be. So get going, follow the timetable. As I told you in the beginning, own up to the mistakes that you've made in NEAT PG because remember, your last mistake is your best teacher in life. So now whatever mistakes you've done, take them as a stepping stone, learn from them and give it your 200% in the INICET that is to be conducted on May 7th 2023. Wishing you guys all the very best. Good luck and God bless. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder.